President Bola Tinubu has been asked to prove to the world that he is innocent of all the allegations that are being constantly levied against him. The national president of the Arua Youth Consultative Forum said, Tinubu is richly blessed and he has nothing to lose by explaining himself. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. What Tinubu should do about allegations of drug trafficking, others levied against him, Yerima Shetiman speaks. He said President Bola Tinubu has been asked to prove to the world that he is innocent of all the allegations that have been constantly levied against him. The national president of the Arua Youth Consultative Forum said that Tinubu is richly blessed and he has nothing to lose by explaining himself. Coming out clean, according to Alaji Yerima Shetima, we mean the president will only be remembered for good. The national president of the Arua Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, Alaji Shetima Yerima, has said, President Bola Tinubu should prove to the world that he is innocent what some people think. In an interview with Vanguard, published on Saturday, June 24th, Yerima advised the president to, to clear his name as he has nothing to lose. Tinubu has been the subject of many controversies from the time he became governor of Lagos State in 1999. Yerima acknowledged these issues. He said, He is a victim of some allegations. He should prove to the world that he is not what people think. Tinubu has nothing to lose. God has blessed him with everything he wanted. So he will only be remembered for the good, thing, the good things he did. The year 2022 to now, he has been a long staring of stories about Tinubu, from questionable words he held, an allegation of certificate forgery, to drug trafficking. Meanwhile, the APC chieftain and his team have refuted some of the accusations levied against him. In a piece of related news, Legit NG reported that the the witness representing the People's Democratic Party (PDP) and his uh, flag bearer, Atiku Abubakar, made a revelation at the tribunal on Friday, June 23rd. Atiku's witness confessed to the presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja on Friday that the transcripts in aid of admission into Chicago State University made by Southwest College in the name of President Bola Med Tunubu, who was identified as a woman gender. Also, Legit's NG reported that the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal on Friday, June 23rd, admitted the documents presented by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. The documents also include a BSc certificate from the Chicago State University, USA, the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, the Star Certificate, and uh, Mobi Nigeria Oil PLC Certificate of Service. Okay. Why does it need to descend to the level of mischief makers now? By explaining baseless and unfounded allegations. So once someone went to court and came out, came back disappointed, and some are presently in court. Tinubu waiting for their own turn and share of the disgrace. Who he who is blessed by God cannot be cursed by anyone. Exactly. Delivered nothing more. Hmm. God bless indeed. Yerima must understand that the guilty always are afraid. Tinubu does not have the gods to explain himself. To explain how he sold drugs. To your miserable father sends far from you. Evidence are there to prove oh. Take it to court or remain fool to your miserable life. Silence is the best answer to a fool. 
there is no need for any explanation. The focus now should be on governance and not on re irrelevance. He cannot, he is guilty, as charged. If he was innocent, he would have said so long ago. He is thinking that it was fade away. Both Atiku and Obi, who can withstand Baba? Tinubu, if we are talking about grammar and education, yeah, yeah, people, they want to, to rule by force. The man you see on the chair watching, let the court case done, you would see red eyes of Baba Tinubu. No one will tell Peter Obi to relocate to Anambra. He will, re he will relocate by himself by force. You, Atiku, can you people in the north, Anna, ag in the north agree for Southwest to rule 16 years? This is not your turn no, to contest for president. Hmm. On the contrary, I am of different opinion no, on the advice that President Bola Metinibu should prove his case on drugs in the U.S., even if he decides to prove himself. His adversaries will not back off. Let's remember that this case, along with the certificate saga, had been on since when he won election as governor of Lagos State in 1999, when we thought that the case had been resolved in the, in the court. The PDP presidential flag bearer is still fighting this polar tenable educational certificate issue in the court. So Tribuna, no matter how he proves the case, his enemies will not relent. So let them continue to jumble. They will all serial losers. They are all serial losers. They will lose again and again and again. <laughs> okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.